you look down Diagonal del Norte, you see the famous Obelisco de Buenos Aires. Standing in front of the Palacio de Gobierno, the Buenos Aires City Hall. It's a very elaborate and impressive structure. Calle Peru, pedestrian mall, has a lot of handicrafts. Standing in front of the Café Tortoni. Been here more than 150 years. One of the legendary establishments of Buenos Aires. Inside the Café Tortoni. You can see it retains a lot of the original ambiance. Chandeliers and stained glass. Here's a map of the Buenos Aires Subte network. Linea A is the original line built in the early part of the 20th century. Since then they've added a number of other lines underneath the city, some of which run pretty close to each other, intersect at various points. Linea de is the one that runs closest to the Recoleta neighborhood where I'm staying. Three of them intersect at Avenida Nueve de Julio, underneath the obelisk. Ezeiza Airport, the international hub for Buenos Aires, is nowhere close to the center of the city, but you see these signs all over the place because there are so many travelers who will arrive at the domestic airline hub at Aeroparque and need to get the 45 minutes to an hour drive from Aeroparque to Ezeiza. So you see signs on the streets directing folks through the city to be able to get between the two airports.